All right, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to graph the, the equation that we were talking about before, which is the equation of a unit circle. Okay, so if you remember before in the last video, I solved for y. We had x squared plus y squared equals 1 for our equation of the unit circle. And I wanted you to find the domain and range of this. So to do this, you end up having, if you solve for y, you have y equals plus or minus the square root of 1 minus x squared. So what I'm going to do is use GeoGebra to graph this. So for my input right here, I'm just going to put a function. And because it's plus or minus, we end up having two functions, so I have to actually put two functions in GeoGebra to see this. So for f of x, I'm just going to say it's equal to, and then I'm going to put parentheses, 1 minus x squared, in parentheses, and then it's square rooted, so I'm just going to raise it to the 0 0.5 power, so 0 0.5, and then when you hit enter, you notice you're going to get half the circle, okay? The rest of the circle is when you actually do the minus of the same exact thing. Now, to simplify this, what I'm going to do in GeoGebra is I'm just going to write the next function is g of x. It doesn't actually matter what letter you use, but I'm just going to make it the negative of f of x. I'm just going to do negative f of x, and it'll actually do the exact same thing we just did, only make it all negative, which is what we want. So if I hit enter here, now you end up having the circle graphed. Okay, from here, you can actually see what the domain and range is a little bit easier for this circle. So hopefully that helps with understanding... Um, how to find the domain and range and how to graph this using GeoGebra. Let me know if you have any questions.